I have dedicated my life to music because I can't think of doing anything else. A musician, that's a word, huh? It's, it's not as limit, you know, the, when you say music major or music career, it's not just as limited as it sounds. It can be really as expansive as you want it to be. For me, one thing, music is always something, and it's probably one of the only things in the world that you can never master. You will never be done. You're always working towards bettering yourself and improving. I think music in general um, has a significant role to play in society. I think that's undeniable. I think it can heal. I think it can inform. I think it can challenge. I think it can comment on societal issues. And I also think it can be fun and you can dance to it. I think it has all kinds of different roles to play. Um, and when done well, I think it is vital to um, to human beings. Music can be very, you know, therapeutic when you need it uh, to be. It's, you know, just very fun as it is um, to be able to play, uh, you know, by yourself, but the collaboration with other people is really fun. Uh, musicians and, you know, non-musicians I've worked with, um, dancers, um, theater people, actors, um, getting to do lots of different uh, types of projects that aren't just no music getting to work with you, you know, video project. This thing that um, you can communicate with people in a different way, you can communicate with people through sound. In jazz, especially, I find more of a creative outlet there. You're not just interpreting melodies, but you're creating your own. You're creating your own emotion and expressing your way through there exactly how you want. And you, I don't think you get that through any other types of music. You have to love it a lot and it's an easy thing to fall in love with. I truly do love teaching. I love my students. I love the collaboration. I remember starting off as a younger teacher, I thought that it was my job to instill knowledge. And um, I quickly, well maybe not so quickly, I realized over the years the best way to inspire and engage students is to make it a collaborative process and to ask a lot of questions rather than give a lot of answers. I think you know the best teachers are the ones that ask really good questions and can lead students to answer them for themselves. And lots of people have said this, uh, this is nothing new, but I do learn things from my students all the time. You know, I think that you know just making music together is such a privilege, really. And I hope the students feel that way. I think sometimes it's not always so easy to keep that in mind because it can become a chore, especially when you have a teacher telling you that you have to do this or you have to do that and have this prepared by next week. But those are, those are that's kind of a necessary part of the process and I suppose the teacher is responsible for cracking the whip from time to time. But hopefully still inspiring the joy in all of it and still trying to maintain the inspiration because that's really you know at some point all of us got inspired by music inspired enough to want to spend a lot of time learning to play and sometimes going through the the paces can dampen the inspiration a little bit but hopefully that's that's part of my job too is to keep those those fires kindled. <sighs> music is cool. Music is my life. Do music. <laughs>